So GoPro just released their first firmware upgrade for the Hero 4 camera. I'm just going to be doing like a quick little how to update it to the newest version. So basically I'm using the app. Uh, what you want to do is just turn on the GoPro and then enable the Wi-Fi connection and then just connect your phone to the GoPro. And then the next step is to just open up the GoPro app. Uh, a few things you should know. You should have at least two battery bars on your GoPro and you should also have really good battery life on your phone as well. It's an automatic download so you don't actually just go out there and download something. It'll just pop up on your uh, GoPro app and you'll see the little down arrow. Once you get that down arrow, you're just going to click that. Then you'll see like all of the, uh, the release notes for what was updated with this new firmware upgrade. And if you want, you could just actually just go read that yourself. I'm not going <laughs> to go get into that. And then obviously the last step would be to install the update. The entire update takes about three minutes to complete. It's going to download it to the camera and then your camera is actually going to turn off and turn back on a few times during the update process. So you're just going to literally just have to wait until it's done. And then you'll know for sure that it's done because it'll say the update is complete. While this is updating, I'll just go through some of the new features and fixes that have been done with this new firmware update. So some of the new features, it adds automatic shutter option for night lapse mode and also a continuous interval for night lapse mode. There's supposedly an increase in image sharpness in various video modes, a decrease in time-lapse shutter lag, and optimized time-lapse auto exposure performance for half a second and one second intervals. There's a decrease thumbnail load time on the LCD touch backpack and an increase of file transfer speeds from the camera to the computer. Some of the bug fixes, uh, there was a bug fix with an issue that may prevent pairing with the GoPro app. Also an issue that may disable live preview on the GoPro app. Um, there's also another fix that may cause the camera to appear out of range with the GoPro app. There's a improved battery level icon accuracy and they fix an issue that may prevent files from being deleted. Additionally, there was a fix that will that caused the camera to automatically power on when connected to a computer. And there's also other various improvements and bug fixes. So that's really all there is to it. Just make sure that you have good battery life on your phone and on your GoPro and you'll be all set if you're using the GoPro app. You can also use GoPro Studio. I've never done that before. So I don't know how easy that is. And there's also the manual method where you transfer the update to the SD card. Hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in my next video.